guys, my name is Yvonne Metz. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to make this extremely easy baby-sized bow headband. The materials we're going to be using today are a number four worsted weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart Soft Baby Steps. It's extremely soft. Next, um, we're going to be using a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. We need scissors, a needle, a row counter. If This is optional. If you have a hard time counting single crochet rows, I recommend that, or just use a scratch piece of paper. And then we're going to need a measuring tape. Okay, so go ahead, grab your materials, and let's get hooking. All right, guys, so let's go ahead. Let's start with the slip knot. Now I worked my first row in a foundation single crochet. I found that it gave the headband a nice stretch. So let's go ahead. I will show you how to do that. Let's start with a chain of two. In your second chain from your hook, go ahead and insert your hook. Yarn over, draw up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through one loop. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through both. That's your first foundation single crochet. You can mark that stitch if you like. Um, when I first started doing this stitch, I marked it just so I wouldn't get confused. Now, the next step is we're going to work under this loop here and the loop right here in the back. All right, so I'll show you with my hook. So this loop here and then this loop in the back. Yarn over, draw it through both loops like that. Yarn over, go through one. Yarn over, go through two. That's two single crochets. Okay, and then this is our foundation chain. So again, one loop and the second loop. At first, it's really hard to see, but once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad. Okay, so that's three. And let me twist it again for you. If you can see, here's starts here. So here's one, two, three. So again, insert your hook into the first loop and then into the next loop here. Bring up the yarn like that. Yarn over, go through one. Yarn over, go through two. Insert your hook into that loop. Oops that loop and like that. Yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two. I think the key is to have when you're doing, especially this one, I crochet really tight. I try to have my tension loose. So here, first loop, insert it into the this one and the back one. This one is the one that you need to have the loose tension. I <laughs> I really I crochet tight so it's really hard for me but I really do try so again yarn over go through one yarn over go through two now I did a total of 50 but again you're gonna want to measure because we all crochet differently so go ahead and see I've got one two three four five six foundation single crochets I will meet you when I have my 50 done. So I finished and I ended up with 50. It is a little over 13 inches and when I stretch it, it goes to about 16. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring both ends together, making sure that you don't twist it. So we're going to join to our first, hold on just a sec, to our first single crochet like so with the slip stitch we're going to chain one and then we are going to single crochet in every stitch around so insert your hook into that same stitch where we joined yarn over bring up the loop yarn over go through both insert your hook into the next stitch like so yarn over go through both so all we're doing is a single crochet in each stitch around. So this is our second round. 
and I will meet you at the end. So I'm at the end of round two and all we're going to do and we're going to repeat this until we have five rounds. Join with the slip stitch, chain one, and we're going to work a single crochet in every stitch around. Just like this. Insert your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, bring it through, yarn over, go through both loops on your hook. We'll do one more together. And that's all we're doing guys. So I will meet you here at the end of round, I did five, and it gave me about an inch and a quarter. If you want your headband a little bit wider, then go ahead and um, do another few rows. Mine worked perfect with five rounds. So I will meet you here when I'm done. All right, so I have five rounds. So now all we're gonna do is join, and then we're gonna go ahead and snip the yarn, just like that. And then you just go ahead and weave in the ends here. And this one, I just weave it to the first on the bottom here. All right, so now let's get started with our bow. Now we're gonna start with a chain of 36. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I will meet you here when I have my 36 chains. So I have my 36 chains. So now what I'm gonna do, instead of working in the stitches like in the back what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over and there's a little bump here I'm gonna work my single crochets in the back of each of these bumps alright what that is gonna do is gonna give you a nice finish on the bottom of your bow if you if you don't mind the way it looks then go ahead and just you know single crochet in your second chain from hook all the way down but I kinda like this look better so let's go ahead and so I'm going to skip the first one and I'm going to insert my hook in this bump only like that and work my single crochet. And here's the next bump. Just like this. And again, if you crochet tight, uh, try to make your chains loose. I think I did a pretty good job. So go ahead and do a single crochet all the way across and you should have 35. So I finished my chains and just like the headband, we are going to join the two ends together. So go ahead and join with the slip knot to the first single crochet like that and we're going to chain one. Now round two through round 12 we are going to do the same repeat and it's all it is is a single crochet in each stitch around you're going to join and then you're going to do one chain and just repeat that and i did 12 rounds and that seemed perfect for my little bow so insert your hook into the same stitch that you joined yarn over bring up the loop yarn over go through both so this is how easy it is to make this bow. So go ahead and just keep going with your single crochets all the way around for 12 rows and um, I will meet you here and we'll finish our bow and headband. All right, so I finished my 12 rounds. So now we're gonna go ahead, finish off. Now mine measures about two inches and three quarters, almost three inches. You're gonna wanna leave a generous piece of yarn, just cut like that. We're gonna sew down the bottom. I'll show you how in a minute. So now go ahead and put your yarn through the eye like that. So what we're going to do is you want to make sure that this is in the middle like so and 
you're going to just sew down the middle just randomly like that back and forth till you get down to the bottom like that and then go ahead and we're going to scrunch it like that so now all we're going to be doing is wrapping this around like this pulling it tight Oop. let's see pull it tight and I ran out of yarn so I'm gonna grab more and just like this and just all we're gonna do is wrap 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 Okay, and this is all I'm doing and you're going to keep doing this until you get it as thick as you want. I don't have mine too thick um, and like I said, you just want to make sure that it's even on both sides and let's see, I'll just keep going so you guys can see. All right, and I think that's, I like that. So I'm going to leave it like this and we're going to cut another long strand of yarn because we're going to be attaching this to our headband okay so what I do next is I kind of put this under a few stitches like so you snip this one you're not even going to see it but just go ahead and snip it bring in your headband and where I join this is where we finished off so I know that I finished off right here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach this to the front like so and just go back and forth and I just kind of go back like this Go down. Go up. And I also, I go here and you want to attach this part. So you're just going to grab kind of like that and go back down like this. So that way you know that it's not going anywhere. And you're going to do the same thing. Go through the bow like that to the other side. This is all we're doing, guys. And I think this is good. Just bring it through the bottom. Just like that. And then what I end up doing is put it through the back just like this and just run it through some of the bottom stitches like that and then just finish it off and we are done how fast and easy was that I cannot wait to see my granddaughter in these bows I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and the notification button. That way you'll be notified of my next videos. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching and happy crocheting.